What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at a ton, an absolute ton of new arrivals at Blade HQ. It's actually been uh, at least a few weeks since I've done this and wow, they have definitely loaded up. These pages will be linked right down in the description, both new arrivals and coming soon so that you can check them out if you want to by yourself. You don't have to listen to me talk. But if you want to hear my commentary on some of this stuff, which I haven't seen past the first page, so a lot of it's going to be a surprise to me, stick around. So we have some new uh, Boker Plus Quakens, very similar to the Protec Quaken, just the Boker version. You know, people always ask me, like, why don't you look at Boker knives? I don't know. I, uh, I looked at some, like, a long time ago, and then I just stopped doing that. I, I, don't, I don't know why uh, I, uh, I, I stopped looking, um, but maybe I should look at some more sometime. So, anyways, uh, there's a Protec Mordax right there. That's a knife that, uh, truthfully, this is the knife that kind of paved the way for the Protec Malibu. The Mordax was, like, the first... Uh, button lock that kind of got people interested in button locks like this was before button locks were really even popular and then they did the Mordax right which is a uh, is that a ferrum forge design yeah ferrum forge because it used to be like a big mid-tech for uh, uh, Mordax you guys remember that man they should bring that back that thing was awesome uh, USA made but anyways um, they did this and everyone was like whoa that's super cool manual protect right it's a button lock wow how cool then they did the Malibu and everyone just went nuts. And that's really that and some other factors. That's kind of what exploded the button lock trend. And we're, we're now kind of at the end of that. Uh, but there's some uh, there's some Mordaxes there. And this one's super cool. The all black one in CPM S45EN, which Protect does a great job with. Honestly, for an American made knife, a good heat treatment, right? A good design overall, 8.13 inches, a good flipper. Uh, just a good American knife all the way around. 250 bucks. I'm not really upset with that. I'm really not. I think that's great. Uh, here's the knife that I um, brought up, the Spyderco uh, Lum, Blade HQ exclusive in M390. It's a lot of money, right? Uh, I feel like 250 bucks. this versus the uh, Protec Mordax. I would probably still take the Mordax. But for those of you who fondly remember the Lum, which was not, I just didn't really expect to, to see this. Uh, but for those of you who really like this, I mean, I know a ton of people picked it up and there's still some there, right? Uh, so a very random exclusive, but a cool one for sure. Uh, so check that one out. It's, it's definitely still available. Magna cut live wires, right? We still have lots of those sticking around. Vostid mini night nightshade. A lot of people brought this up. When is this coming back? Et cetera, et cetera. That's a CPM S 35 EN and titanium. Pretty cool smaller smaller folding knife but honestly great materials for the money there no issue with that uh vastid raccoon cub vastid mini acorn uh oh that's cool they do a uh copper finish on that interesting but what is the what is the copper finish titanium nitride is it p it's not surely not pbd Huh. Either way, it's cool, right? Uh, 50 bucks for 14 seats, which kind of reminds me of the um, uh, this Vivi uh, mini, or the baby banter, right? Great travel knife. So it's very, very similar to that. Uh, the Breeze, I'm not really interested. This is cool. The Artisan Cutlery Prime, that is a super cool looking knife. Artisan Cutlery! Whoa! Hey! Hey, whoa! Is this S90V? Hey, why did, what, where, you guys didn't send me this. Oh, it's only seven inches. Dang it. Uh, that's fine. If you like a seven inch knife, um, I was hoping for like eight, eight and a quarter. Cool profile though. I do like that. CGRB uh, Ace, Ace, not a bad looking knife at all. Air RPM nine, seven and a half inches. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll get that one in a future box. This right now is a really good deal. Uh, this is the full-size locking Riot Exo, and uh, that's 8.75 inches, and you get two LMAX blades, titanium frame, Riot build for 300 bucks. If you can legally own and preferably carry a gravity knife, that is a ridiculously good deal, definitely. This is the uh, Pyrite Bowie in S90V, titanium, textured. 
Uh, I think that's a great deal for 200 bucks, definitely. Petrified Fish coming out with some different things. Petrified Fish Tunny, 14C, 28N. These guys have really, really good fit and finish. Uh, they did the Beluga, and then like that was like hyper popular, and then they had a bunch of other knives that were really good, but didn't catch on in terms of popularity nearly as, as well. Um, so I think people often forget. The only thing I want to know is, I want to know how their 14C28N is heat treated. Did you guys know that the optimal range for 14C28N, I know people are going to say, that range does not necessarily isolate folding knives that are not going to be used the same way as a fixed blade knife. You're, you're right. The range, the optimal range for 14C28N is 55 to 62. Now, I don't know how many people really want their 14C at 55, right? But that's more like probably 55 to 57 is like your fixed blade preference range if you're going to like really beat on it. Uh, and then your, um, your 58 to 62 is pocket knife range. So I think the industry standard for uh, 14C28N seems to be either 58 to 60 or 59, 61, um, which is fine, right? I would like to know where theirs is. That's a pretty big knife, 8.86 inches. Anyways, I know, I know. A lot of that depends on geometry. There's a, there's a million other factors, right? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Riyadh XOU. These keep popping back up in the cool colors. This is definitely, a lot of people are, $77 for a utility knife. I can go down to Home Depot and they get me a Milwaukee Fastback. I'll get me a Husky for life. And go do that. Go buy that. This is a gravity knife. It's cool. That's why people are buying it. Not because they don't know that you can get cheaper ones. Of course they know. Those are boring. That's why people want these. I'll go down to my local Home Depot and get me a good old-fashioned Husky. Shut your big, dumb waffle face. Go get a Riyad XOU if you want something cool, right? <laughs> I just can't. Every time I see that, I'm like, you know. You know. Don't, don't act like you don't know why, right? Like someone's like, golly, I am so confused. I suppose I will just blindly spend $77.95 on elements that I don't understand. I sure wish someone would come out of the ductwork and explain to me what value and utility are. Ugh. Anyways, <laughs> I know that's all. Oh, that rant's gonna get time stamped. That rant's gonna get time stamped in the comments. That's fine. Oh boy, Benchmade Seven. Benchmade Seven. Oh, seven ten. Okay, they're getting all fancy with it. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it used to be, back in my day, it was a 7, a 1, and a 0, all right? Um, Magna Cut, guys, Benchmade, this cannot be right. No, this, there's no way. I refuse to believe that. If you don't know, before you get into an uproar, Blade HQ, and it's not, I can't really blame Blade HQ either. They get this, they get these numbers wrong. It's, it is far more likely, I mean, there's a chance that Benchmade actually did, but I'd say it's far more likely that Blade HQ got that, that range wrong. It just, it, it was a whoopsie-daisy. And the reason is, guys, is because they have, think about how many listings they have, right? Um, you could put a team, I don't know how many employees they have, but, you know, any, anybody complaining about the inconsistency of Blade HQ and their listings, I would say try to put your own team together and run a company like Blade HQ, okay? For all the things that they do right, Every now and then, a little bit of a goof up in the description, I think, is a little, is excusable. It's important that we understand that people like me communicate with the community and say, hey, listen, do not poo-poo your pantaloons over 59 to 61 under because people are already primed and ready. They're, it's like people are sitting around going, if somebody says Benchmade, I am going to be the first one there to complain about the prices. Yeah, we. I mean, like, hey, let, get in line, you know, but people are already primed and ready to do that. Right, they're just just sitting on a whole boatload of oysters in their pants, just ready to go, right? So when we see stuff like this, people are just, ah! you know, just absolutely ready to freak out over it. Relax, relax. Probably just an error. Still though, <laughs> on that note, Benchman, are you kidding? Six hundred dollars for what? Black aluminum. I mean, yeah, one way or another, like, that is uh, a, a big old no, no from me. That's a huge no from me. Yikes. Wow. Uh, it's too bad because I think that the 710 is like, now, you know, fair, to be fair, 
I remember buying a Benchmade 710 in 2016, maybe 2016. D2 and G10, USA made, but that's what they did back then. D2 and G10, it was 130 bucks, right? If you release that nowadays, here's the <laughs> irony. If they brought the 710 back in exactly the same way that it was back when it was the appropriate price tag, if they did that today, the new people who have jumped on the let's complain about ben, uh, Benchmade bandwagon would say, D2 and G10 for $130? Benchmade's out of their mind. They're out of their gourd. Right? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Right? Now, the other side of that argument is, is that today they should not be releasing D2 and G10. Right? They still do that. It should be some other, you know, it should be at least like S30B or something. I say at least. A more premium steel. It's just like it's just funny. Like I can always tell immediately. I'm like you. You don't really know. You're just yelling the same things. Like there's plenty of people who do who were there, you know, and have been around for a long time. Plenty of people have been around way longer than me. But there's also like a truck ton of new people who are like, this uh, take some notes. Uh, oh, we don't like that company. Oh yeah, let's go. Uh, complain about price over. What's the what's the line? Hmm. Okay, 150. We know. We know when you're doing that. Don't be a phony. Protect TR3 automatic. These are sick. That sapphire, it's not a flat blue. It doesn't look like uh it doesn't look like you know, a jean jacket. It's like shiny. It's like a satin blue, right? These are super cool. And this is uh probably the most flagship Protect model. This is the weirdest this is the most ranty walkthrough of <laughs> new arrivals I've ever done. The copper finished uh, knives and the and the sapphire ones, super cool. Take your pick. Love those. What the heck was that? Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. It wasn't anything. I'm sorry. I, I saw this and then I mixed it with it. Paragon... Para X. Mm, I kind of like that. Oh, it's so cheesy, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Uh, do you have more of these? Oh. Hold on. No internet! <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh, that's what I was looking for. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. It's so so cheesy and cool. Um, USA S thirty five VN eight point seven. Pair X five. It's next next generation of the ATK 010. This Asheville steel automatic is single action out the front. Just push the button and the blade fires out the front of the handle. Too close to the blade? Just push the button and use the use the retracting lever to pull the blade back. Too close to. The, okay, so the implication of how this is. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh too close to the blade oh I'm sorry I'm reading that wrong to close the blade I'm gonna treat you guys and not edit that I'm gonna let you guys laugh at me I'm sorry I thought that this read too close to the blade like as in like a question like did you accidentally fire it through your hand no problem you can just retract it but my dumb brain didn't read it that way. My stupid brain, which didn't notice that there was no question mark, uh, missed that it was to close the blade. God, what's wrong with me? To close the blade. <laughs> Just press the button and use the retracting lever to pull the blade back in. The Para X has a sliding safety under the firing button and a pocket clip for easy tip down carry. Made in the USA. That's really cool. It's actually a really, really cool. So the reason that I'm so... Um, interested in this is because I have wanted and I've been pleading Protex marketing guy for a dark angel like every few months I'm like you guys do you have any like secret dark angels that you can sell me and he's like dude we haven't made those forever shut up idiot you're not that special and then I go and I cry in a corner for like a week uh, but I really want one and I, I just like the symmetry of it right and I you know I, I'm actually pretty afraid of um, 
single action OTFs ever since I fired that heretic one into my hand on accident. Um, they will hurt you. They really will. Um, but I do, I do like this. I think this is neat, and um, I, I kind of want one. I kind, I think I'm gonna buy that. I think I'm gonna buy this. I just think it's really cool, and I feel like these are gonna sell out, especially after. Yeah, especially after I do this. These are just sick, man. These are the old ones. Oh my gosh, I have to, I have to pick this up. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Anyways, let's proceed. No. No. That's cool. I always like the two-tone amphibian. The amphibian is one of the only knives with a recurve that I like. It's just it's just cool. What the heck? Max Ace. Oh wait, BRK. I thought that was Max Ace. I was like, what are you doing? BRK. The Avispa model, Spanish for wasp, is wonderfully blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here's why. Endorsed by Mike Perrin and Jeff Randall, Essie. Blue Ridge Knives, Essie always produces. Except, okay, so that's, that's why it looks like that. So a lot of people are going to say that looks like the Ontario. It's a copy of the Ontario. <clears throat> I'll let you guys read, and then I'll let you guys do your own reach, research there. I was about to say the same thing. Um, but uh, there you go. That's why. Anything else here that I want to highlight? Oh, yeah, these are awesome. This looks like nothing. This just looks like a nothing knife. This is sick. They are not showing the reflectivity on the blade. This is like a hyper-polished hand rub satin. The only thing, I don't think they're hitting their magna. I think they're hitting their magna cut like 61 to 62 or 61 to 63. It should be 63, 64 in my opinion. This is actually a really, really nice knife. It is unbelievably nice for the money. Don't sleep on that one. I have it here. It is super nice. Um, the DPX has to still a thing. Okay, let's go to uh, coming soon. Coming soon. Hawk shortcut. I have one. The most expensive. Don't you know you could go down near Home Deep? You could get a husky. You could just get a, a nice husky box cutter for eight. I know. I have one. It's It's incredibly boring. This makes me want to fall asleep forever. Like, that's how boring this is. This makes me want to go to sleep and never wake up. But I also, also, well, we got to get my tub of knives out. Hold on. That's where I keep my, that's where I keep my good, my good budget knives. And also, my hawk, which is not, where's my hawk? Where'd my hawk go? Where are you, bud? Well, Anyways, you, you just have to take my word for it. I have one. I don't know where it is. It's just gone. Well, it's up here somewhere. It's really cool, though. It's a lot more fun. But also, to you know, to validate those those complaints, it's a four hundred and eighty-five dollar box cutter. I mean, it's really cool, but it's a four hundred and eighty-five dollar box cutter, right? So just depend. Just choose a side of the fence and stay there. Don't do what I do and like look at both sides and be like, you can't blame me. Because I, I understand both perspectives. I had way too much. We bought a coffee maker, and I can make my own. And I can adjust, like, the level of caffeine in it. And I put way too much caffeine in it. That's cool. The assassin with the silver. Silver black G10. And carbon fiber. So it's not actually silver twill. It's like a laminate. And then I don't know what the other material is. So all these new Kaisers, they just sent me a box, and I've got them all here. They're really cool. Uh, that Fox Kronos and Magna Cut is also really cool. I have that here. It's been a long time. That's finally releasing at Blade HQ. A lot of really random stuff coming in. Bokers, Spider Coast. There's always Spider Coast coming in. Who knows? Who knows when the Rex 121s are going to land? I keep saying I'm going to get it. Now, probably. They're doing more of the XOMs. They also, these are, I know people are like, they raised the price. These new ones are going to be in LMAX. 160 bucks for a Riot produced medium size XOM gravity knife. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Bioface. God dang. That is the craziest Civivi I've ever seen. Who is the designer? Does it not say? 
Do we not have a... God, that looks like the CKF Decepticon. You guys remember that? Good lord. I love how this looks. Neuro, the Neurohaptic, that is a sick looking knife. I love that. Super cool. Anything else that's worth... That's kind of neat. Oh yeah, I pointed this one out a long time ago that I thought that looked cool. Uh, yeah, not really. Okay, a lot of new stuff at Blade HQ. Worth checking out. Check out the links down in the description. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.